How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Um, I have another comic book haul video to show you today. Um, it's uh, another one of my uh, usual hodgepodges of uh, different uh, types of media. I have some comic books here. I have some magazines here. I have uh, actually, I actually even have some movies and video games. So, but I'll explain it as we get into it. But um, the first batch of comics I have here are. Um, uh, a batch that I bought on my comic shop and then um, this one here um, the Incredible Hulk Wizard Ace Edition uh, uh, reprint of Incredible Hulk number one uh, I'm trying to get all of these Wizard Ace Marvel comics so I did need this uh, Incredible Hulk one so I found this one on Macari and I got it for uh, $10 so I was pretty happy about that so I think I have to get um, the Hulk 181 reprint, and I, there might be another X-Men one I need, but I can't remember. But anyway, so I picked that one off off Mercari. Now, the next batch of comics are from iComicShop.com, and the only reason I have all these is because I had a, um, a want list of uh, books that I'm trying to complete runs for, and I just got tired of looking uh, at comic conventions for them and flea markets, so I just looked on my comic shop, and I picked them up for some reasonable prices. Um, I got <clears throat> Spider-Man Red, Red Sonja. Um, this is, uh, what is this? That is issue one of five. I needed that one. I got that one for $6. Um, this one was just included for free uh, in my batch of comics for Batman Day. Um, Betty Page, The Alien Agenda number 5. I saw this one on Macari, but the price was way crazy. They only had it for $3 on my comic shop, so I picked that one up. Uh, this Marvel Action Hour with the Fantastic Four, I tried to complete that this run too. And so now with the issues that I have here, I did finally complete them. So here's number 6. I got this one for $2. <clears throat> it's a run, a series that nobody collects, but uh, it was based on the... Saturday morning co or cartoon that was on TV back in the uh, like late 90s or early 2000s. So here's number seven. I got this one for $2 also. Um, I needed this one to complete my Captain Action Run. This is only like a five-issue series. This one was $6. This is the last one I needed for that. Um, I found all my old Roger Rabbit car comic books, so um, I needed a couple to complete that run. i sure I had them, but I don't know where they're at. So I might have lost them in the, my basement flood. So here's number two that I needed for, um, or that, yeah, number two for $2. And number 13, I got for $2 also. <clears throat> Picked up a couple of regular show comics because I'm still trying to complete that run. Uh, they had a few, a couple I needed. So here's regular show number 29 for $4. And again, these kind of books are really hard to find. Uh, I'm sure the print run was really low, but I, I have a hard time finding them anywhere. Um, and then here's number 31. I got that one for $4 too. And then here's number 36 for $4 also. So it's basically cover price. I didn't spend too much on that. Um, then Night of the Living Deadpool, number one. Um, I have this series, but I needed the first issue. So I picked this one up for eight bucks. <clears throat> here's the other one that I needed for the Spider-Man Red Sonja, um, number five. I got that one for $10. Um, Defenders of the Earth. Number four, needed that one, picked it up for $3. Here's another run of comics that nobody cares about or was trying to complete, but it's a short run, so that's why I picked it. Um, Fantastic Four Unlimited. So I needed number 10, so I picked that one up for $2. <clears throat> and I also needed number 12. Uh, this one costs five $5. It's a sideways cover there. I got those, so that run is complete now. Uh, this one, Mystic Arcan Arcana, uh, Black Knight. I picked this one up for $10. I have all the other ones. The um, I forget how many they did, five, but this is the last one I needed, Black Knight. This one was also included for free for Batman Day. I guess I just ordered at the time it was Batman Day. Hush, reprint. Uh, and then the uh, another batch of books that nobody cares about or collects, uh, Uncanny Origins from Marvel back in the, I think, I don't remember, oh, 19, 1996. So here's number 11 with the Black Knight origin. I picked that one up, $3. Um, number six for $3 featuring the Beast 
origin. It's basically just the retelling of their origins in a cartoony looking, cartoony style. Uh, Nightcrawler was in number eight. I got that one for two dollars. And then Black Cat was in number ten, and I picked that one up for five dollars. And then the last book that I wanted that I saw again, I saw it on Macari, and there I'm not going to pay crazy ridiculous. I looked at my comic shop and it was only two dollars. So just a Spider-Man spectacular um, one shot for two bucks. So those are my my comic shop comics. Now this next thing um, is I, we're back into the auction stuff I pick up, and this one was an auction lot, and the description was Ultimate DC Fan Lot. And I saw the pictures and I'm like, okay, I'll bid. And I bought, I got the the um, lot for $9.99. So there's 22 things in the lot. So basically 45 cents a piece. So the first thing in this lot is a PlayStation 3 game, Batman Arkham City. And I'm like, well, obviously the game's not in here. Uh, but lo and behold, yeah, it's in there. It's complete. There's no scratches on it. So this costs 45 cents. <clears throat> The other, next thing that was in there was Justice League Dark DVD, the animated movie. And, yep, it's in there. No scratches. 45 cents. This was in there in the lot, too. The Dark Knight Trilogy. It's a DVD, though, with the lenticular cover. All the DVDs are in there. No scratches. And the collectible book. 45 cents. And then some comics were actually in there. That's why I bid on it. Batgirl number one. Newsstand, 45 cents. Uh, Gotham Girls, one of five, 45 cents. Three of, no, number two, three of five, 45 cents. Four of five, 45 cents. And five of five for 45 cents. And then uh, a random, another Batgirl, number 11. <clears throat> a random spirit, number 24 from DC. Uh, then there was some Sandman. I got, well, yeah, Sandman number 58, number 60, uh, 64, 65, 68, so like just random, uh, 69 was in there. And so that was the same. And then there was the um, Little Bat little Gotham Batman Special Edition free for Batman Day. Um, then also there was uh, Black Label Joe Hill Presents Hill Comics Sampler. <clears throat> Batman Beyond, number eight. So again, all these are like 45 cents break if we break down what $9.99 for the whole lot. Um, Nightwing, number 90. Uh, Wonder Woman number 10 from 1987 when George Perez was doing it. So that was 45 cents. And then these were in there too. So these were 45 cents a piece. So I got Batman the Dark Knight Master Race, the hardcover. No, no, um, no cover cover on it. But I mean, so what? 45 cents. And then Batman and Robin, Dark Knight versus White Knight. This is a um, $23 cover price, and I got it for $0.45 cents in the lot. So, you can't go wrong when you pick up stuff for that kind of price. And like I said, the video I thought the video game for sure wasn't going to be in there, but it was. Oops. So, that was that lot. The, other, the next lot I picked up is um, <clears throat> a couple of trade paperbacks, too. Now these, I, I have the hardcovers and I didn't even know that these came in softcover, but apparently they're from the United Kingdom. And Superman from the 30s to the 70s, softcover. And then Batman from the, 30 to the, from the 30s to the 70s, softcover. So again, I didn't even know these existed, but I picked them up. I got them, I got 20, I paid $20 for both of them. So $10 a piece. So again, I loved these when I was a kid and growing up, and I still have my original hardcovers. And I do have the Shazam um, version that they put out, too, with those. But again, I had no idea that they made soft covers of those. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to buy those. Um, then I got another lot here of um, some Marvel Romance comics. These are reprint comics from the 70s. But here's our love story number 36. <clears throat> 
our love story number 38. And then my love number 37. So I really like these, the Marvel ones. They have a lot of, you know, like John Buscema and John Romita and Gene Colan and Jack Kirby uh, artwork in them uh, from the early 60s. So, um, but yeah, these those were all $3 a piece. So I got that all in one lot for $9. So I got those there. Happy with those. And then I got a little batch here of um, Creatures on the Loose. I got uh, each one of these was, um, what did I put down here? $5 a piece. <clears throat> So I got number 16. I think this is like uh, Gulliver Jones, Warrior of Mars, which I think is really John Carter of Mars. Um, I, I'm not positive, but I got that number 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All for five dollars a piece, and I think twenty one is the last issue that they used with uh, Gulliver Jones. So I'm gonna have to track down issue twenty one. So I got the out those. I got a couple of Blade comics here. Um, I picked these up. These are up different prices, but um, I got th this is a, another auction site. So I picked this one up. This Blade one shot. I got that one for ten dollars. Um, Blade it takes one to kill one. Number two is five dollars. So I have a couple other issues of those. I've got to figure out how many um, are in the whole series. And then here's another blade from his other series. This is number four. I needed this one. That was $5 also. And then the next batch of books are a bunch of magazines that I picked up. Um, I remember seeing these back in my local comic shop back in the um, early 80s. And I um, always, I was never, they were always kind of priced high, but um, on this auction site, they had a bunch of them. So I bid um, $5 a piece and I ended up getting some of them. So um, these are reprints from England also. So DC, the superheroes, volume one, number one. Um, that was $5. And then I also got volume one, number five. I just, these, I, I picked a lot of these because of the covers. So that's a pretty nice looking Superman cover. And then they also have the same picture on the back. So, um, but so I got that one. I picked this one up. This is volume one. Oh, I, they're out of order. Volume one, number two, again, same picture on the front and the back. But they're reprints of DC Comics, obviously, black and white. Um, this one I got, this is pretty cool. This came out when, obviously, Superman 2 came out. So there's some, re this is all Superman issue. And then plus they have some like text pieces and some pictures uh, of Superman 2, um, the movie. And then this one I picked up because I figured it was just the, this is a reprint of the first Huntress um, story from DC Presents or whatever issue that was that she made her debut. So uh, again, those were all $5 a piece. So I was pretty happy to get that. I got this for $5 also, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, the Marvel graphic novel. Uh, of the adaptation of the movie. So, got that. Uh, a random Dynamite magazine featuring Battlestar Galactica for a dollar. And then also um, the Hulk magazine, issue number 12, um, for a dollar also. So, that's when it went to, uh, started, well, I think number 10 is when it started printing in color. But anyway, so I got that one for a dollar. This is another thing that I didn't know I needed until I saw that it existed. Um, but I saw it on the, on the auction site and I bid $10 and won it. Marvel Comics did a Clueless magazine based on the movie and the TV show. So it's got, uh, stories in it. And then also there's, uh, obviously, obviously comic stories in there. So again, I saw it and, um, I'm like, oh man, I hope I can win that. And I did, it was 10 bucks. So I got that. And then a couple more magazines I picked up in another lot were some Doctor Strange, -ish, or Doctor Strange, I'm sorry, Doctor Savage. Um, so these were all, ended up being a dollar a piece. So I got Doc Savage number six for Marvel, and then Doc Savage number seven for a dollar, and number eight. And then there was a duplicate, there was duplicates of number um, seven, and 
number eight. So these are a little bit, these these two here, they're a little bit water damaged. So again, um, it was it was a lot for all of them. And so like they're one, two, three, four, five, six. So I, like I said, I, I, got them, I got the lot for six bucks. So always happy to pick up some Marvel um, black and white magazines from the 70s. And now the last batch of comics I got is another giant lot of books. I paid $32.09 for them. And there are 93 comics in the lot. So that breaks down to 35 cents a piece. And this is all a bunch of random stuff. Um, again. But, you know, you, you see a pic, couple of pictures of some of the stuff. And then I just bid on it. And like I said, it got up to $32.09. And then I ended up winning the lot. So uh, let me get my Spider-Man placeholder here for the because a lot of these don't have bags and boards in them <clears throat> or they're not in bags and boards yet but so one of the first comic here for 35 cents was uh, new adventures of speed racer zero um, then uh, thor number eight uh, thor ages of thunder one shot number one uh, mighty avengers number three Mighty Avengers number four. Mighty Avengers number two. Mighty Avengers, the most wanted files. This is just basically like a handbook of all the uh, characters in the story. Uh, Fantastic Four number 555. Fantastic Four number 554. Five, Michael Turner's Fathom. Let me get rid of these here. Half issue. Batman Adventures number eleven. This includes the um, the little the on the edge magazine in there. It's poly bagged. Uh, Vandala number one. These are kind of lots I like. It's just a bunch of variety of stuff. And it's like some of it, it looks, a lot of it looks really interesting. And I, I really look forward to looking through these. Uh, Dark Horse Annual from 1997 featuring body bags. Uh, Free Comic Book Day from 2006. Transformers issue. Uh, concrete Strange Armor 205. There's a, quite a few Concretes in this lot. Uh, Astro City number half. Strangers in Paradise, number 10. It's another uh, series I never really got too much into, but um, now that I have the issues, I'll start reading them. Uh, Cud Comics, number 3 from Dark Horse. Never heard of it. Uh, Uncanny X-Men, number 492. Messiah Complex, chapter 2. The Foot Soldiers, number 1 from Dark Horse. Uh, X-Men Messiah Complex, chapter 1. This is a one shot. Uh, here's another. Oh, here's Cerebus, Mothers and Daughters, number 26. Let's get rid of it. Mothers and Daughters, number 33, Cerebus. Doctors, uh, well, Dark Horse Presents, number 115. Um, it has, what is it, the creep on one side, and then Dr. Spin on the other. Chaos Quarterly. Um, I think this is the first issue of this. Uh, Replacement God, number six. Shadow Reavers. Cerebus, Mothers and Daughters, number 29. Messiah Complex, Chapter 11, X-Factor, Number 27. Brigade, Number 2. Some image goodness there. Uh, Team 7, Number 1. Uh, this is another thing that was... There's uh, like a couple issues of the X-Files from Tops in here, too. X-Files Annual, Number 2. Uh, a Decade of Dark Horse, 4 of 4. 
<clears throat> Here's another X Files. This is the regular series number 22. Uh, G.I. Joe from Dark Horse when they had it for a, a hot minute, number two of four. Cerebus Mothers and Daughters, number 25. Time to move this. Again, though, you know, 35 cents. Mothers and Daughters, 31. Ghost, number 12. Another X Files, number 11. Um, Ghost Dancing, number five of six from Vertigo. Death, the time of your life, number one of three. Astro City, number two. Negative Burn, number 40. Strangers in Paradise, Molly and Pooh. Concrete, Think Like a Mountain. Strange Haven, number three. Here's a free service uh, book. Probably tells you all about his history. Monkey Man O'Brien, number two of three. He's, I love that series. Love Art Adams art. Uh, Dark Horse Presents, number 131. Astro City, number 13. Concrete Strange Armor, number one. Think Like a Mountain Concrete. This one, I don't know what the heck this is. Um, Elementals, number one, Commemorative Edition. Sizzling Sex Special. <laughs> don't ask me. Uh, Lady Death, I'm not sure of the issue number on this. Gen 13, number 5. Stormwatch, number 10. Wildcats, number 11. Shadow Reavers, number 1. Uh, the Kindred, number 3. Shiloh. The Devil's Own Day. Um, this is issue number one. I don't really know too much about that ish, that comic either. Uh, here's Bloody Mary, number one of four. Oh, let's get rid of these. Oops. <clears throat> Dark Horse Presents, number 116. <clears throat> Cerebus, Mothers and Daughters, 24. Number 27. Number 30, Money Talks, number one, The Jam, issue number nine, From Hell, volume 10, Strangers in Paradise, number one, Negative Burn, number 45, Astro City number six. <clears throat> Dark Horse presents number 120. It's, uh, I think it's Al Williamson on there. Concrete, Strange Armor, four of five. Three of five. Uh, Solstice, issue number two of three. Action Girl Comics number one. Dark Horse Presents, 130. Almost done. Dark Horse Presents, number 129. That's a nice cover there. Uh, Abe Sapien. What issue is this? I don't know if that's a one-shot or what, if that's a one-part. Um, Replacement God, number four. Strangers in Paradise, number 11. Strangers in Paradise, number 12. Dark Horse Presents, 128. Replacement God, number 5. X-Files, 21. Dark Horse Presents, number 107. 
Action Girl Comics number three. Hellboy, um, I think that's a one shot. Milk and Cheese, uh, number six, six, six. Scarlet Thunder, number two. Uh, Tank Girl, the collection. That's a $14.95 book for 35 cents. And then there was just a couple of random comics journals in this lot. Uh, number 183. And uh, what number is this? 157. So there you go. All of those in the one lot, $32. So basically 35 cents a piece. And... Um, I thought there a lot of this stuff looks pretty interesting and like I say I can't really wait to start reading it because a lot of this stuff I had never heard of again or I never collected so um, but that should do it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, please uh, leave a comment below if there's anything that uh, struck your fancy or um, that you want to point out to me um, and then don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already uh, thanks again for watching. Thanks to all my subscribers. I'm almost to 400. I still can't believe it. I got a couple more to go and then I should be at 400. Um, last time I looked, it was like 398, I think. So that's pretty exciting. I never thought I'd have that many people looking at any of the stuff that I put on, uh, YouTube. But, um, again, this one well, ran kind of long, but I mean, there's a lot of books here. So, um, I apologize if you, um, thought it was too long and I thank you if you stayed till the end. But, uh, other than that, I will leave you with uh, my usual good luck out there for, good luck out there hunting for comics and I will see you all next time. Bye.